Philadelphia had a history of pressure fighters in the post-war era. This was a style that was developed in a number of gyms, and it was based on rushing the opponent and keeping them from setting and driving them into the ropes. This was a smothering hooking range, and they became known for their powerful left hook. Two of the fighters from this era that come to mind are Kitten Hayward and Benny Briscoe. And the reason I know stories about these men is because they were both trained by Quinzel McCall, who I knew and heard stories from on a regular basis. They called this style slip and bang. So this was all well established by the time Joe Frazier came along. He was the one who was to make it famous. Quinzel had trained Hayward since 1958 and Briscoe since 1962. Both of these men were world ranked in several different weight divisions and Briscoe fought for the middleweight title three different times. Hayward and Briscoe fought in December of 1965, and it's the kind of night that they were still talking about 10 years later in Joe Frazier's gym. And um, Kitten won a split decision. Also during this time frame, 1969-70, Eddie hired Ken Norton as a sparring partner for Joe Frazier and then began to campaign him. Joe finished up 1970 by beating Jimmy Ellis, and so just as Eddie Futch had predicted, he beat the both finalists in the Tournament of Eight, no problem. Also in 1970, Joe Frazier asked Georgie Benton to come and manage the gym, and this act of kindness was to change a lot of lives. Eddie took Benton under his wing and taught him to be a second and a corner man. Also by 1970, Yank Durham began to visibly decline. And as his health got worse, he began to rely on Eddie Futch more and more. And Eddie said that he knew if he was patient, eventually he would get his. <laughs>